Thank you, Sage. The news coming earlier today, Urban Meyer retiring as Ohio State's coach after the Rose Bowl. Offensive coordinator Ryan Day will take over as the head coach beginning January 2nd. Meyer has led the Buckeyes for the past seven seasons. The school wanted to make the announcement before the early signing period beginning December 19th. Is this it, truly it, for, for your football career? Well, it's a complicated uh, question, and, and I'll try to answer it the best I can, is that uh, I dealt with, uh, in 2014, had that surgery, and then it recurred last year. I started dealing with some issues last year. And uh, I hired Ryan Day, and I think, you know, uh, in trying to build the most comprehensive premier program in America, you also want to hand it off to someone at some point uh, so that it can even get stronger. Sounds and like so, you're not vanishing from the scene, though. I hope not. I, I, uh, God has a plan. I'm not quite sure what that is. Gene and I are extremely close, and we discussed that, and uh, I hope to stay involved. He did go on to say he did not plan on coaching again, but didn't really shut the door. A lot of former Buckeyes shining in the NFL. Zeke Elliott, the most rushing yard since he joined the league in 2016. Joey Bosa has been one of the league's top pass rushers. His brother Nick soon to join him in the Big Easy. Saints wideout Michael Thomas has the best catch rate in the NFL over that span. He's had 12 players taken in the first round during his Ohio State tenure. And again, this will become official after the Rose Bowl. Coach Day will take over January 2nd. You have to wonder if you do see Urban Meyer coaching again, if the NFL is in his sights at all. You know, Urban Meyer is going to now become the coach that anytime a prominent college or head coach opening at the NFL level is available, we're going to speculate about whether Urban Meyer will take that job. And especially when it's based in Ohio. So I can imagine that people Is will there be saying to them, so, there? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, yeah okay. I, 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 I am water sure somewhere, right? whether, there's, whether there's anything to it or not, I can guarantee you people will wonder, or at least ask the question, is he on the Cleveland Browns radar? There's, and no information right now that suggests he there, is. There's a handful of coaches, whether it be Stoops, or we've seen a number of coaches. He returned to coaching. Mm -hmm. When will he coach again? Where will he coach again? Sure. He'll be among those. His wife will be involved with that and probably staying away from coaching. If that's best for his health, I think uh, he should remain not coaching. Uh, but if he is healthy enough to coach, I'm sure we'll see Urban Meyer somewhere someday. You know, what's interesting is, and it seems, I don't know Urban Meyer, but when he clearly has a passion for coaching and football in general, I feel like it's a drug for some guys that they, that they, they, they can't, can't shake. And so... You know, health, and I, I just think as young as he is, um, 54 years old, and the opportunities that'll present themselves to him, I'm, I, I would be shocked if he was done. Three national titles, his tenure at Ohio State, anyway, at least as the head coach, will end on January 2nd. It's Hat Tuesday, everyone. I can't even get off my chair. I'm so excited. <laughs> I guess we're putting helmets on. Really you know what? And it never goes on. Oh. This does not even feel oh, yeah. right. I, I need a That's star nice. on this thing. I've had a lot to do with both of them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta put the helmet on if you're all in. I'm all in on those Denver Broncos. Baby. Wow. <laughs> Get up. Here we go. Adam of Shepard has the mini helmets that go on his mini head. But I helped you get that passing record. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hit him with the run for a long time. <laughs> McVay's doing with that run and play action pass. I mean, Captain Obvious took the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> My sons what? call me that. Listen. They call me that all the time. <laughs> They're right. Your sons are right. I'm going Seattle Seahawks. Reference oh. them. We're talking well, about he, wild he card about teams. Pete Carroll, coach of the year. Yeah, and listen, he's done. A, he has done a great. It's a great yep. uh, point by coach. Um, but I just think the, the balance that that team has, the way they're playing on defense, and obviously Russell Wilson just so good at creating. So thinking specifically to Week 14. I've got the New Orleans Saints, who have a doubly bitter sweet or bitter taste in their mouth right now between losing to the Bucks all the way back in Week One and then having ten days to ruminate over that loss to the Dallas Cowboys. You got to figure that the Saints are ready to take care of business in Tampa Bay. Good use week. of ruminate. Yeah. Uh, who we got? Colts, Jets, Eagles, Jags, Texans run the table. Whoa! Whoa! On the Texans. Whoa! There you go. Good job. Is next.